Excuse me, gentlemen, but you must have the wrong box. These seats are occupied. The usher downstairs can direct you to your places. This may prove to be a challenging investigation, don't you think, Watson? Uh, your gift for understatement is excelled only by your modesty, Holmes. Do you see anything interesting, Watson? Nothing worth special attention, but the show has not yet started. See the balcony usher for directions to your seats, gentlemen. The show will be starting soon. These are Sarah Carraway's tickets. How did you come by them, if I may ask? Uh, you knew Miss Carraway then? Knew her? I'm Mrs. Worthington, and I own the Chancery Opera House. As I share this box with Sarah, I know her, of course. And who might you be? Uh, this is Mr. Sherlock Holmes, and I am Dr. John Watson. Mrs. Worthington, I'm sorry to inform you that Sarah Carraway is dead. We're assisting the police in an official investigation. Oh, how dreadful. Such a lovely girl. Was there an accident? Was there... Please compose yourself, madam. There was no accident. She was in... Investigating her death? You don't mean to say she was murdered. I'm afraid that is true. Is there anything you can tell me about Sarah? She was a pleasant young woman, though we only shared small talk. It is sad how little any of us knows about those around us. And now she's gone. She liked nothing better than to see her sister sing. They were very close. In fact, Anna recently gave her a pendant and Sarah cherished it so. She told me that she never took it off. What did this pendant look like? It was a large ivory oval attached to a heavy chain. A bird of some sort had been etched in the ivory. Distinctly oriental it was, very lovely, but perhaps a bit grand for every day. She wore it under her blouse, I believe. She told me that James, her young man, despised it, but she was very proud of it. We need to speak with Anna Carraway. Do you know where she lives? No. I love her voice, but I know nothing of her personal life. Perhaps Mr. Epstein, our manager, can help you. Is there anything you can think of that might help us in our investigation? I can't think of anything, but if I do, I will inform the police. Oh, I hope you find whoever did this awful thing and bring them to justice. Now, please excuse me. Life goes on and the show is starting. Welcome to our presentation of From On High. Regrettably, our female lead, the divine Miss Anna Carraway, is ill. Miss Angela Ferrati will be singing in her stead. Please join me in wishing Miss Carraway a speedy recovery. We hope that you will enjoy the show. Oh, how unfortunate for Anna. Miss Ferrati, however, is a fine singer in her own right. I hired her myself. She will not disappoint.
We need to see inside Anna Carraway's dressing room. Would you be so kind as to secure Mr. Epstein's consent to inspect those premises? Of course. Here, I'll write you a note to give to him. dressing room, but I insist that you disturb nothing. Her personal property and that belonging to the opera company are off limits to you. Understood? I remind you once again that you are to touch nothing. I'll be watching you closely. Do you see anything of interest to this case, Watson? Nothing I consider relevant, Holmes. Mr. Epstein, it is essential that I be allowed to thoroughly inspect Miss Cadaway's effects. If necessary, I may need to take certain of her things away with me. I repeat, Mr. Holmes, that you may examine Anna's dressing room with your eyes only. You have neither the right nor the authority to touch anything belonging to her or the opera company. If you disturb anything, I will have to escort you from the building. Don't you find it strange that Miss Carraway informed you by telegram that she was sick, without telling you her new address? How are you expected to reach her if necessary? I hardly see that Anna's... Miss Carraway's address is any of your concern. Please confine yourself to the dressing room so I can be done with it. I'm ignoring my important duties. The sake of this foolish errand.
able to examine that room properly with the manager inspecting your every move. I can distract him if you wish. Uh, next time we go in there, uh, just give me some kind of sign and I'll take it from there. May we visit Anna Carraway's dressing room again? All right. If you must, please follow me. Can you determine whether the dresses in that closet are Miss Anna's personal property? Or do they belong to the opera company? What's all this, then? No, I shall do so now, Holmes. If Mr. Epstein will assist me. It appears that the opera company owns them all, Holmes. No luck, I'm afraid. <laughs> 